Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the next hockey video, a preview to the Arizona Coyotes season. Now, obviously, this team is in a retooling mode, kind of regrouping after having issues down there within the organization, and now they're trying to rebound and kind of build on and build back stronger um, this organization down there. And they are starting with a pretty good crop. You have Dylan Gunther. You got uh, Victor Soderstrom on defense. You got Jan Yannick, Josh Doan, Shane Doan's son, of course. Matisse McKelly uh, there, who's a very nice offensive-minded, uh, creative uh, winger. Josh Doan's going to be fun to watch at Arizona State. Um, Yannick's, of course, coming off of his knee injury, but played in a couple games this year. He was able to pot two goals. It would be interesting if he's actually right put into the lineup, being Phil Kessel's injured. And then Soderstrom, somebody that can play very soon. And then Dylan Gunther's a great player. Um, he's a gifted scorer. He'll beat you in many ways. And he's also an underrated playmaker, I think, and will develop that side of his game more as he gets into the NHL level and gets into the pros and kind of goes from there. And then Ivan Provestov, who got his uh, feet wet last year. But the interesting thing in net is not Provestov or Yosef Kozinov. It's really a guy that came over from the Czech this year, which is Karel Vilgemalka, um, who actually played very good in the Czech Republic. Um, whether it was in the postseasons he played, and he put a 2-3-9 in eight games in the 2021-22 season, um, he put up a 9-11 save percentage, 122 games, put up a 9-25, a 9-15, a 9-37 in six games in the one year. So he's been very good, one of the Czech Republic's, actually probably the Czech Republic's best goaltender for a team to be able to bring over here. He was actually drafted by the Nashville Predators, and then now the Arizona Coyotes are able to get their hands on him, which is actually huge because if he can, obviously not with the injuries, but make the impact that Francois made when he first came over here with the Avalanche and then take out the injuries, that would be huge for this team because they don't have a guy in net that you pinpoint to and when you know a team's in a rebuild or a retool whatever you want to call it and they're in a full rebuild or retool is when you have aging out goaltenders and young guys that haven't proven themselves yet which they have both they have Carter Hudden who's coming off of the eye surgery had his first season really full season back from that last year so maybe he'll be able to show more success but he's aging at this point and then you got Karel Vejmalka who's a huge wild card but if he plays well and comes over and has success, like the Lankanens of the world as well, then you're able to really kind of build off of that, and then hopefully Yosef Kojanath or Ivan Provestov are able to kind of piggyback and be those guys. But obviously in the lineup for the Coyotes, an interesting player to watch is going to be a former flyer, Shane Gulstisbear this year, as he comes into Arizona, and they want to be able to push that offense more from the back end down there this season, I believe. So it's going to be interesting to see how he plays. They, of course, got Connor Timmons down there as well. So they got some exciting players on their defense. They're going to have Soderstrom, as I mentioned. Plus, they also got Vladislav Provelnev, who's uh, the 26-year-old that's going to start playing in the league this year, who got signed to his entry-level contract. So they have some interesting names back there. Then veteran Anton Strawman, who I think is a smart player to have because everyone else you have in this defense is young and inexperienced, so you kind of have somebody to kind of hold it together, and has been there, done that. They always still have Capo Biaco, but I think he's kind of more of a, a six guy, a six defenseman, or a routine, like, routine into the, rotate, excuse me, into the game type of defenseman. But they have very fun guys to watch back on the defense. Ilya Labushkin really emerged last year. You got Chitron, who's a beast. You gotta, you hope that Pro, Provonev develops really well. I'm um, coming overseas now, playing in the NHL. So you hope that happens, and then if all that comes to fruition, their defense actually on paper is not bad at all because you have, as depth, you're going to have Capo Biaco and you're going to have Victor Soderstrom. So that's actually pretty good depth. The problem you're going to have, of course, with this team is the inexperience and the not scoring um, level you have on the offense as you're rebuilding. Clayton Keller is a player I really like. Nick Smoltz is a player I look to eventually kind of take a next step. You got Barrett Hayden, who's still a youngster getting into his prime. Lawson Krause, who's a nice player, but obviously not a scorer. The same goes for Christian Fitcher, nice player, not a scorer. Same with Dezingle, same with Johan Larson. And then Anton Roussel is really a guy that you either put in your lineup or you don't. 
Jay Beagle's a very good faceoff guy, not a scorer. And then Louis Erickson looked all right in the preseason, but um, he really isn't much of a scorer unless if he kind of bounces back in a huge capacity this year. So that's what they're going to be missing, especially with Phil Kessel. That's why you wonder if Jan Hanik is going to make it right away since he'll be able to kind of build and maybe provide a little bit more young energy and young energizing scoring for this team, which is really what they're going to need to stay competitive as a rebuilding, retooling team and not be one of those teams that is clearly one of the teams that is rebuilding and at the bottom of the league without really having being being able to compete with much team, which I think this team might be a little bit, they're not going to obviously get anywhere close to the postseason. This team is fully rebuilding. But in terms of not getting blown out in games, I feel like in a rebuild mode, they kind of have the foundation to do that because you do have Golchenyuk you brought in as well, obviously. So if you're able to put him in, he provides some offense. But the big thing with not getting blown out is having a solid defense. And as we talked about, you got Chikrin, you got Labushkin, you got goes to push the offense. You got Connor Timmons, who's a great young defenseman. Provelnev, who came from overseas. You got Capo Biaco, and you got Soderstrom. So you got guys on defense. You got to see if Carter Hudden's able to rebound and show some glimpses of the old Carter Hudden since he's aging. And then you got to see if Carol Vomelka is able to kind of do what Lankinen did and really have a big impact at right away, but then don't do what the Blackhawks did and overplay him. You got to be able to rotate him Provestov or rotate in Carter Hutton or rotate in Kojana, whoever else is playing well. Because if you start over playing a guy like you saw in Chicago, it, do, it doesn't work for players. And like we saw with Talbot in the past, Morton Jones um, in San Jose, eventually it's going to catch up. And especially with young guys, it's going to catch up in the first season because that gives the league a better chance to catch on to them if you're just overplaying them and then they catch their weaknesses because they're also tired. But I think he has a chance to be a good netminder. Hopefully this team plays well around them. They have a good, solid defense to build from. The issue with the Coyotes is always that's going to make them be one of the probably bottom feeder teams of the league this year because they're really in a rebuild mode is their offense. You have a lot of lack of scoring in Arizona. But even as a bottom feeder team, I think this team's still going to be fun to watch because you got the uniques of the world. You got the um, Connor Timmons of the world. You have the Pro Valnevs, and you have the uh, Carol Vizmelkas of the world. And I'm a huge goalie guy, so I want to see if he has that Lankin in or that um, Pavel Francois prior to his injuries impact. So I definitely want to see that. He also he has Dimitri Jaskins, who had never had success um, overseas yet here, but maybe he's going to be able to get something going for you there. So you got some guys that are interesting to watch. It's just... You're not going to be able to generate enough scoring. If this team's anywhere near the playoffs, that would be a huge surprise because I see this team being kind of where the projection's at on the hockey news, which is eighth in the Central. That's likely where they're going to be. But you want to see these guys have success. The young guys I mentioned have success, including the ones I mentioned that are in college or still in the juniors. You want to see them continue to build to have success. And the ones that are in the pros, you want to be able to build on that and grow and build because that's where this Coyotes team is at. And I think you're going to see some of that this year and actually have a better season in terms of saying, oh, well, at least we have foundations to build on. One of the goaltenders emerged, one of the three youngsters. Uh, you have Unique, like I mentioned, and you got others like Marcelli, Josh Stone, and Soderstrom and Gunther coming up the pipe. So you got guys. You just got to wait. This team's got to be patient now. And they got to be able to have the fans support them through this rebuild, which is going to be tough down there in Arizona. But I think once you come out of it, Arizona, you do got a good foundation. You want to start with the defense, and you want to start with having one goal we kind of take stride. And having three young guys gives you a much better chance to do that. So you're having a good starting point. You just got to now find the offense in the rebuild. And it looks like you got some of those guys coming in unique, Gunther and also Marcelli. So. That's all I have for this video. This has been an Arizona Coyote season preview. Went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoy the content, please like, comment, and subscribe down below, or subscribe at the widget up above. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out, and enjoy the season, and go Coyotes.